Hey guys, so we're on my kitchen island here and I have some test swatches set up for the new paper that I found at Dollar Tree. Um, I've seen some other people in the group use um, some of the burlap, I think it was, and this is the burlap paper. So what's going on is at Dollar Tree, they have a bunch of these different rolls of paper and this is from a company called K and Company and it's the Chalk It Now chalkboard paper. It makes a chalkboard surface. 15 inches by 10 foot rolls. So this is a really great deal. I saw it on Amazon for $9.99 and I've seen it at other websites for around $4. So either way, really great deal. And I wanted to test it out and show you guys how this works. I haven't tested this before. So we're gonna find out together and see how well it works. They had um, a bunch of different types of paper. They had this cobalt chalkboard paper. They had a standard white chalkboard paper. Um, a gray, which I think this one's going to have a lot of useful applications. Um, they have this metallic silver foil paper. And this one is slightly, um, instead of being 15 inches by 10 feet like these ones are, this one is 18 inches, I believe, by 72 inches. And the same with this one. And they also have a pink roll. But these ones, um, I figured I would have the most use out of, so I picked up these ones here. Um, the metallic foil paper, I thought that was a really great deal because this gets really expensive and I definitely can use this in my Cricut machine, so excited to try that. And then here is the burlap paper. So if you like burlap, um, but you want it like on a budget, you want it to make cards, you can make signs with this, this would be great. In picture frames is the background of picture frames and gives it kind of that farmhouse rustic look. And the thickness of this one, I cut out a piece so we can just examine it a little bit more closely. But the thickness of this is just like a, a heavier weight uh, gift wrap, I would say. Um, you know, it does look like it has pretty great details on it. So um, I think that if you put this in the background of a picture frame and then you put pictures on top of it, it will look pretty real unless you were very, very close up. And then you could tell that it was a flat. Um, instead of 3D surface. So I'm very pleased with this. I can see a lot of applications with this one specifically. The foil paper, I think this is gonna be perfect for the holidays. So around Christmas time, winter, you could do a ton of DIYs with this and I'm definitely gonna use this one for that. Um, this one is actually slightly heavier weight than the burlap. So this one has a lot more um, shine to it, more reflection. Um, and it is slightly thicker. So let's get to the meat and potatoes because what we're really here for is to find out does this chalkboard paper actually work? So I was curious and I wanted to know, I went to Walmart and I have a DIY coming up. I'm gonna use this chalkboard paper if I can make it work. And I'm gonna use the Waverly chalk paint. Uh, I picked up the color steel to test out. I haven't used this specific color yet, but I've used other Waverly colors and I really like how they work. This is $1.67 a bottle. Really great deal and it covers well. And then I also picked up some more clear wax because I like to seal my projects after they're done. And I also picked up some, uh, like an eraser to test with this and some different colored chalk. You know, since we have different colored surfaces, I thought it'd be fun to test. As well as white chalk, so we have standard chalk. I put up two samples of each, and the reason for this, I wanted to test out two different ways. So on a standard um, chalk surface, you're going to season it first, which is you put down a layer of chalk first, and then you write on top of it. So I'm gonna do one sample of each, where I season each one first, and then I'm gonna do the second one without seasoning it and just writing on it, and we'll see how it works. And I also wanna erase it. I'm gonna try erasing and see if this is like a standard chalkboard, or if this is a one-time deal, like, are you gonna work with this and you have to get it perfect the first time or can we make a few mistakes, erase it and reuse it again? Or if it can be like a, a menu, maybe we make a weekly menu and you wanna be able to write on it over and over. And if it works like that, great, we'll see how it does. But I think we'll get started with seasoning it first. So I'm gonna take the white chalk on this one and I'm just gonna rub it over the top here and get it where it's seasoned because that's what you usually do when you have a chalkboard is you just make sure that the whole surface is covered in chalk and that way it works um, easier. So did that one. I'm gonna also go ahead and season the gray one with the white too. That way we can see 
how well that works. Okay, make sure I get it covered really well. Doing all this one-handed, so I apologize if it's not the best camera work, guys. And then we use the blue on the white because we figured that would be a really great contrast so we could see exactly where it shows up. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take the eraser first and I'm going to go ahead and clear this off. Right? So it's been pre-seasoned now. So it looks like a regular standard chalkboard there, doesn't it? it? It has that same look, you know, where it has that light overcast. So that works so far. And take this off. So this one definitely, with the blue, it definitely stained it. You can see the difference between the two. White to blue. Not bad if you don't mind that. And then this one is the gray to white. Came right off. Looks like a standard chalkboard. See, pre-seasoned, not seasoned. Okay. So let's go ahead and write on these and we'll see how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and write on the pre-seasoned one. Okay. I'm going to write on the one that's not seasoned. Okay. So you can kind of see both there. Let's go ahead and try and race it and see what it looks like. So you, you can still erase it. It does look like it leaves a little bit of residue behind on that, but you could probably go ahead and season it and get away with it again. I wonder how many times you can do this though before this would wear down the paper. So far it looks good, right? And here's this one, pre-seasoned, or not pre, this one wasn't pre-seasoned, that one was pre-seasoned. It doesn't look like it wants to come off. So it looks like if you want this to be a successful project, I would pre-season it and then write on it so that way, you know, you can write um, again on it if you want to. If you want it to be very vibrant and bright and you're not worried about making mistakes, then you could probably skip it. But for me, I'm not the best at, you know, writing everything perfectly. That's why I have a Cricut machine. <laughs> so what I would do is pre-season it and then do that. Let's try it with the white. So we went ahead and, and did this and it, it did stain it um, a little blue. We'll see what it looks like. It's a bit of a messy task here. Okay. Okay, you can see the difference there. Okay. Pre-season, same thing. You could kind of see a hint of it there. You could probably go back and season it again. And then wipe it. And then you can't really see it as much. You can still see hints of it there. So the white one, it looks like it's a little bit more fussy compared to the cobalt one. Better result on the cobalt. So here's this one. Okay, let's rub it a little bit here. Yep, still definitely there. Same as that one. So I think it really depends what chalk color you use too. We'll probably have to try it on a, a few different colors to see if there's different results. But I feel like the blue is a very good representation because it's, you know, a pretty soft color. Okay, so here we are on this one. And this one was pre-seasoned. So let's go ahead and write on that. And then here's this one. So honestly, the result on both of these, you can tell this was pre-seasoned. It has that kind of classic chalkboard look. I actually prefer that. I think that looks nicer. Um, and there's that one. Let's see. So I think out of the three, if I was looking to see which one had the most classic chalkboard result I would definitely say the darker colors actually look at that the regular chalkboard one you can't even tell I don't even see the words on that so this one had that faint that faint amount this one definitely you could see it a lot more out of the results but this one that's the winner I think if I was picking one to use um, if I was going to stock up on some of these from Dollar Tree I would definitely pick that one I think it works better you know, this has a very standard chalkboard kind of result. So 
that's my winner right there for sure. And if you're looking at um, what you can use these for, this is really great if you want to make like a, a weekly menu, you want to make a chore list, that sort of thing. Um, longevity, I don't know how well this will hold up, you know, to multiple uses, but so far it looks okay. I think you definitely have to make sure you season it each time. That way you're not tearing into the paper. You're just giving it a, a coating and you're erasing the coating rather than, you know, rather than the actual paper. Seems pretty solid. I don't feel like the paper's tearing or anything. So there is that. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with, I think the metallic paper looks really beautiful. The burlap paper, I can see a lot of uses for that, especially if you're into rustic and farmhouse decor. And for the price point, a dollar for a chalkboard paper roll for 10 feet of it, that's a really great smoking deal. I would probably skip the white unless you were making it a permanent sign and you were very confident about your writing abilities. <laughs> so I would definitely recommend the cobalt and the gray on that. So hopefully this kind of review helped you. This is kind of like a first impression review. Um, I'm going to make a DIY with this and show you guys and see how it turns out. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to turn it into like something into a chalkboard and just show you guys. And if you have any questions about anything from Dollar Tree or anything related to Cricut or whatever, feel free to leave a comment below. Ask me questions. That's what I'm here for. I actually really love sharing knowledge and helping people. And so feel free to ask and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.